Hi, my name is Marta Flores. Today we're going to be doing clay modeling. We're going to do clay sculpture of animals. I have some here that I have done and uh, we're going to make uh, a turtle. I love this one that I made a long time ago. And to make a turtle is really, really simple. The first thing you do, oh, let me show you how to cut clay. Have a string with two sticks. That's all you do. And then you go like that and look how easy it cuts. Okay, so I have some pieces here already cut for me. So I make a pinch pot for the shell of the turtle. And some of you who took ceramics already know how to make a pinch pot where you take a clay and you make a ball, you roll it in your fingers and your hands like that, then you take your thumb and you push it in, and then you take your other thumb and you push it in. And that makes a pinch pot, as we call them, and that is also a perfect shell for our turtle here. So here it is, the shape, and I can round it, maybe make it less pointy if I want to by making it a little flat. Also, tools are easy for clay. You can use just about anything. This is a skewer, uh, popsicle sticks, they were fine. Any pointy tool that you might have, an old fork, an old knife, a screwdriver, all of those are wonderful tools. So with these tools, I'm going to make some shapes. This is called incising the clay, cutting, but not all the way, just like drawing on the clay. And I'm making my shapes of the shell of the turtle, see? Now I'm gonna take a little piece of clay, yeah, about so big, and shape it in my fingers like that and give her a kind of a face of a turtle. And they have a kind of a funny face like that, right? Really simple. And I'm gonna make the little eyes of the turtle right there and even the mouth open like that. But in clay, you never, never forget this. It's very important. When you're gonna add clay and clay together, you need to score or scratch. So we scratch the part the head and I'm going to scratch the area where the head is going to go and I want to be sure I'm doing it the right way not putting it upside down so here it is his head is up like that now I'm going to take four small pieces of clay just tiny ones for the legs see it has four legs and a little tail sticking out so four pieces that are almost the same size these are perfect this will be the tail. The tail is just a little pointy little thing. So it's just like that. But the thing is, scratch. Don't forget, to, and the skewers are the best scratchers because they're very pointy and sharp. So there it goes. And then the legs, we do four legs. Roll them like this. Squash them with your finger. Make little toes like that. Scratch, scratch here and scratch inside the turtle shell where the legs are gonna go. And there you have it. We won't do the other four because of time, but there it is, a shell and the turtle coming out of the shell. So that's simple, okay? So our next creature is gonna be a dog. I have a dog here or a little lamb. Try to make animals that are kind of big and bulky Horses are hard to do. In fact, when I made this horse, you can see I only made the head of the horse because unless you make big legs like this or you have a piece of clay where the legs are gonna be, it will stand up. Otherwise, thin legs tend to break because clay is heavy. As you can see, it's quite heavy. Okay, so I take a piece of clay in my hands. I give her a good spanking like that. Okay, that takes away the air bubbles inside the clay and it starts to shape the clay the way you want it. Now I'm pressing right here where the neck of the beast is gonna be. And this is gonna be the head and this is the neck. Then I start pinching the clay where the legs are gonna be. So here's one leg, two legs, and it's okay if it's a little hollow in the belly, that's fine. Actually for firing, that's better. So I'm doing my four legs. I take my time shaping them into something that looks more realistic, okay? The tail, what kind of a tail do I want for my dog or my sheep? 
maybe a little tail like that. Maybe it's a bear. It's starting to look like a bear, I think. So the ears are roundish for a bear, like that. And the head is a little longer. Look how quickly clay just, you can mold it and make it do whatever you like. This is the beauty of clay. It's like a little bear, little cub. So now I take my time and I shape it. And this is where you spend some time, you know, making it look. And bears have a tiny, tiny tail, huh? Like that. And then you can take your uh, skewer and incise hair, fur, for the bear. You see? It's a lot of fun and it's so simple. Once you're done, and you think you're really done, because you're not gonna fire your clay, we're gonna use white glue. This is just Elmer's glue and a brush. And we're gonna coat the whole little figure with white glue. That will make it uh, dry hard and it will be more stable. You can even paint it once it dries. You can use acrylics or any other kind of paint to give her a nice little coat of paint. Okay, thank you so much for watching.